Hey, how's it going? My name's Anthony, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cut some decals. Okay, so first things first, uh, you're going to want to uh, get a cutting software. Me, I'm using Vinyl Master, which is a pretty generic software. Uh, I, I can't remember where I got it. I've just had it for a very long time. And um, it's a good um, cutting software, um, especially if you're going to be wanting to vectorize images because an image just can't be, um, it can't be just um, you, you, you copy and paste it and then cut it. It has to be vectorized for a cutter to, to be able to read that file. So like I'm going to be making some flags. So I've already got a file for flags on my PC. And these are flags that people use um, on their on their desktop or I don't know why this is not showing my my, my different windows but oh well um, so this is um, these are the flags that I make for ve vehicles for fenders or they put them on their doors they really put them anywhere but these these files here are vectorized and so if you just go into Google and you type in vector flag I guess let's try that okay and I'll move you guys where y'all can see what I'm talking about so let me move my keyboard here so I have two different monitors sorry um, but if you go like in here and you go to images and you go to let's say you want a clear image and you can even like some of these are already almost vectored but they have a water watermark in them but a flag is a flag doesn't matter how you look at it but you just want a, a nice clean clear flag and this one might be good and you can just copy that image as you can see a copy and then I'm gonna come back over here I'm gonna paste it in here I don't know why this is not showing me my uh, it's, it, it's kind of bugging out right now for some reason uh, you paste your image in there make it whatever size you want and then you click up here it says vectorize and so I'm trying to get it from uh, keep flicker or to keep it from flickering um, so there you go you have it right there it's vectorizing your image then you trace it and right there boom you already have a vectorized image and then you go in here and you can do ungroup all and you can delete this out and then um, you go like this and you want to weld this thing so it's all one piece as you can see there it's all one piece now this, this wasn't a very clear image so if you look closely at these stars right here they're kind of wonky you know you can see they're a little wonky and um, there's some some defects like right here you can you can see some defects so that's this is what makes the difference on the type of file you use so if we go back to my other page here again I don't know why it, it usually has tabs up here that show you which um, documents you're working on so I'm gonna go back to mine and then you'll see here I, I I like mine with the stars by themselves it's much easier to to weed and um, much easier to use and then I put my logo on them as well for people who just want to represent my my brand which is uh, AOT and then one thing you want to do is you want to put a give it a border okay and what this is going to do is help you have a line so you're going to have a big weed box right and inside that weed box are going to be these rectangles and what those when you tear off that big weed box I'll show you later you're left with these rectangles that you can you can um, make a, 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 a squared off or rectangled in this case um, uh, cut so when I weed it out and then I cut these these lines and then I'm gonna weed out this this silver box leaving only this and a nice clean symmetrical box for each file so uh, let me just undo so here we go so now 
you want to I'm gonna create maybe one more of these because this is a tw my vinyl cutter cuts 24 inches wide it cuts less than that but 24 inches is the width of it so I don't want to waste any so I'm just going to I'm gonna add maybe one more in here like so and so you can draw a box and select the ones that you want to cut and then you go up here and then you s open your uh, send a cutter right there and you're going to get another screen you have some different options in here um, as you can see here this is my type of cutter that I use um, uh, MH871 or whatever I've had it for a very long time it gets the job done it's super loud and annoying but like I said it gets the job done so now <clears throat> basically you take uh, um, actually I want to show you one more thing so before uh, so in, if you're going to make like your flag like this and then you want your your uh, you know your pattern you want to group that pattern and so mine's already grouped right and then you take this and you bring this over here you you bracket around them selecting both and you center them so you go to if you can see it down there let me see you go to alignment and then you center it boom and boom and as you can see my file right there centered up so <clears throat> that'll give you an idea um, of how to center your artwork on your thing so um, it doesn't matter where you put this on here this is just for reference and you could put it like this it does not matter only when you just don't click anything and you want to cut it is when it really matters but bracket what you want to cut send to cutter and then here's your different tools and different things to like if you want a mirror for someone who's putting on a t-shirt you know it flips the image so it's mirrored so it's, if it's on the shirt it's not reading backwards so you'll learn about different things like that absolute position you know um, is where it's going to cut exactly so you know how mine was off of the artwork mine is off the artwork it's going to cut that absolute position which I don't care uh, registration marks if you're going if you're planning on putting it in, into a machine that reads registration marks you can separate it by color so if I separate by color it, you can cut gray first and then black second so that's another option so not doing that auto speed weed that this is another one that gives you that same box that I, I created so like you can this is all vinyl and then you peel from here out it's going to leave a, a weed box around the whole artwork which don't really care. Um, and, you know, I could go on and on about all these different settings, but you'll figure it out for yourself. Then you basically hit cut now and send it to cutter. I'm going to turn my cutter on and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, I have my cutter here and um, different. I'm not going to go over like too much into the cutter unless I get a bunch of questions, but this is where you, you, you set your positioning and you can change the, the amount of pressure, the speed. You can, there's a lot, there's a few, not a lot, but there's a few different um, ways of changing your settings. And uh, mine has a stand and everything, but um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, position the, where I want it to start. So let me make an adjustment here <clears throat> to where it cuts evenly. So let's see. It's all by my experience, really. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to set the cutter, and uh, or set it to cut, and it's going to cut this right before your eyes.
Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how we weave this thing. So as you can see, all of my stuff is cut out. So now we're going to weed the exterior box. And this is what I was trying to tell you guys about how I put these boxes around here so I can make it to where um, when I cut these flags out that they're nice and symmetrical from when people want to put them on their windows or on their doors or wherever they're putting them. And so I take my ruler here and I have a metal edge on this plastic clear ruler and then I, I can feel the edge of the decal in there like that. And you just cut like so. And let me turn my TV off there. And cut the other one like so. And like I said, it's going to make it to where it's a perfect symmetrical rectangle. Um, to where if someone goes to measure this, maybe they want to measure it and put it on their window or door or fender, that it's nice and squared to where it fits perfect and even on both sides for people who are OCD. And so now I've got a nice flag right there. <clears throat> and now we'll weed this thing. So weeding can be a little bit tricky. And this is where the cutting pressure, this is where the cutting speed of the cutter, a lot of those factors, a lot of those will come into, uh, into play and, and be a factor for when you go to weed this thing because you want all of the, you want these to come off just like this. I mean, you uh, if you set it just right, you can get this to where you don't have to finagle to get these, uh, to get the uh, cutout to stay. But little tiny stars, jagged things like this are tricky, but bigger ones that have a lot more uh, surface area to put down, um, it's easier to weed. But these little tiny stars like this, it's super tricky and takes a, a little bit of practice, but you just got to be patient and don't uh, get frustrated and <clears throat> it goes a long way. And so now my logo here at the bottom like so and voila so as you can see I may have been off camera but as you can see that's how you weave that and so I'll cut out my O here real quick I'm trying to stay out of the frame so you can see my work and then that right there is one decal and so I'll do one more here to show you guys I'll do one more and we'll do the same thing here. So I set my edge right up against it and cut. <clears throat> Other one here and cut. Other one here. Cut that one as well. Sometimes you got to be a little bit uh, like these smaller edges. It's hard to get a nice clean cut, but you just work it off, and then eventually it'll tear right apart. But sometimes, um, you know, it could be a little tricky. But like this one, I kind of messed that one up a little bit. But I can always clean that up when I go to tear off the the transfer tape or take off the transfer tape. So. Same thing, weed this box, be patient, like so. And this is why I like these ones better with the stars, they're easier to weed and it just looks better on, honestly with the, on the paint, you know, especially if people put these on their paint, it looks a lot better. Um, get my logo out here. And it's like, like I said, sometimes, and like the way you, you tear it makes a difference as well, as far as, um, how you, how they come, how the tran the, uh, outer, you know, the negative side, I guess, comes off. Um, so keep that in mind on the direction you tear. I don't know why it just makes a difference, but there you go. One is reversed because if a flag is showing movement, 
like if it's moving on, on, a, on a vehicle or on anything in this direction, then the flag would be, it has to be like the direction of if it was flapping in the wind basically is how I go by. So this one, if the vehicle is moving and this is on the passenger side, it'll be reversed. So that's not how you want to represent the flag. It's called flag etiquette. And so one is reversed because one goes on the passenger side and then one goes on the driver's side. So the vehicle is driving like this down the road and the flag is basically like in the wind. So now I'll teach you how to put transfer tape. This stuff I love. This stuff has been the best stuff I have found. Transfer Right Ultra is what it's called and highly, highly recommend it. It's the best clear vinyl that I've ever found. So <clears throat> one thing about me is I don't have nails. So I have to use sharp edges to, um, to you know, pick up the tape and things like that. So, um, so what I do is I lay it down like however it is, clean off your area, and I take the the transfer tape and I put it in the middle, and then work its way out. Then take the squeegee and just squeegee it both ways like so. And like right here, you can you can cut it like this. You can um, cut it like this and pull the pieces off. Or you could take um, maybe a pair of scissors. Let me grab a pair of scissors. So once again, I don't have nails, so I have to use this to pick this up, like so. You can use scissors and you can just cut this out like this. And then you can just work it like that. This is how I normally do it. It's a lot easier and a lot faster. And I'll try and leave links in the description on uh, what what type of vinyl I use and what kind of... If I get questions about it, then I'll, I'll put that in the description. But as you can see, that is the outcome of what, it's, what it looks like in the end. So as you can see, the line here is nice and straight and square in the where the logo is you can see the thickness from the edge to the logo is the same no matter which side that you are using so if people want to measure it you know put it on their on their vehicle and then peel one side off and then stick it down and then peel the backing off then that's how you then um it being symmetrical will make it a lot easier for the end user Okay, and that is how you make some flag decals. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll be able to answer most of them and to the best of my ability. But if I don't know, I'll research it for you. But um, I probably missed a bunch of things that I should have gone over. But um, but yeah, so that was using matte black Oracle 650, Oracle 651 vinyl. Um, it's the best vinyl I could find for the price. Um, it's not very... Um, expensive um, it lasts a long time you can expect like three to six years out of it but most people don't even own their vehicle that long so you know if as long as it lasts four or five years you're good because like I said most people just always trade it in or, or get rid of it or, or if it's a lease or whatever um, but this, I found this vinyl literally the last years so I've had some of the decals on my truck for a few years now and they still look the exact same uh, you can clean it with just regular stuff. You don't need anything special for for uh, my decals. So, um, you know, if you uh, if you want to grab some, I'll put a link to my website in the in the bottom of the description, and um, you can go and buy some there. And uh, like I said, if y'all have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Um, if you want me to, I can you know give away uh, a pair of these. Or um, if y'all want to send me an image or an image URL in the comments below. And I could do another video using your image. And then um, with your idea, I'll actually uh, send it to you uh, for free after I do a tutorial on it. So uh, thank, you, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to drop a like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.